Missouri is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Arkansas's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. down at the 47. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. their own 46 yard line second down he sails it long and he got it he'll take it all away for the touchdown He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a four-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. tries to buy some time and they push him out at about the 41 got some open field and he's tackled around the 47 yard line Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. He makes it out to about the 37-yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. a great tackle at the 18. Tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved him back. From the 21-yard line. Second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Now 
he's scrambling. Inside the 10. Tackle right around the eight-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. He's going to try and scramble. Breaks the tackle, and he'll score. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Missouri kicked this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Setting up the play action. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green, 15. Motion, motion, motion. Go! This one's broken up. Defenders are taught that if you can't get to the quarterback, get your hands up and try and knock the pass down. From their own 38-yard line, third down. Did you see how quickly he closed on the ball and broke up that pass? That's what you look for in a safety. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And he is drilled at the 28. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Missouri! Did you see how explosive he looked? He had his sights set on the end zone, and he was not going to be stopped. These guys are going to have to work a lot harder than this if they want to stop him. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 80-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense and think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. That brings up second it's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike eight. Mike eight. Red two. Or easy, easy. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Two, 
Quick strike to the receiver. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 39. That's good for a gain of 32 yards. That makes it first and 10. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Three down, three down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Red two, green 15. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 25 yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. He tackles him for a loss. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the seven. First and goal. already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Missouri's lead is a touchdown. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Razorbacks. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We're deadlocked right now at 14. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He dives, and he'll be marked down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense carries with their dime look. And he's taken down at the 49. Design draw there, and they're going to lose about one on the play. That'll bring up second and eleven. Throws incomplete. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. in bounds to make a nice catch. He gets 
gets out to about the 28-yard line. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 17. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Over the middle to his tailback. Brought down at the 11-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets to about the 11-yard line. No game. That'll bring up third and four. Now he tries to buy some time. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. This should be an easy field goal. Missouri could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. They'll get him for a loss. Two-yard loss for the halfback. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Steps out at the 25. Flips it middle to the running back, and he's tackled at the 33. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 38. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Missouri is up by three. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. They bring the quarterback down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And they get the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The Razorbacks, quarterback Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right, the quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job right now. 
And when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental health mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Kill, kill, kill. kill. Three, pass, pass, pass. Pass, pass, pass. Just throws this one away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Missouri is up a field goal. Tosses across the middle to his tight end, and he's leveled at the 47-yard line. A lot of fast receivers can be one-dimensional, but he's been working with his coaches to become more confident as a route runner. His progression has been very impressive. Fires it out. Tackle right around the 30. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Focus, defense, focus. Mike five. Mike five. He's going to try and scramble. And he tackles him hard at the 20. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. A great first half comes to a close. 17-14, Tigers. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Mr. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn, offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment, it seemed. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked, but there's also the other side of the equation, too, and we talk about it all the time. da 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 da, -da. You want to make top 10 plays, and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on SportsCenter. But when you're on defense, you can't always make a big SportsCenter play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's OK to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look 10 times better than they should be. You don't have to make sports center. You could just make the regular, normal, everyday play. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He sends this one deep. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Missouri holds a field goal lead. He scrambled. He's tackled in the open field, and they picked up four yards on the scramble. That makes it second and six. Scrambling around, and down he goes at the 32. Gaining three yards. That makes it third and three. Come on, come on. My five. Easy, two. Four and three. Now 
he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. Gives it up the gut, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. No game. Roger, Roger. Mike that brings up second and nine. Coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. And he's hit immediately. Here's a quick throw. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. Throws complete. He's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 13. Missouri has a three-point lead. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That'll make it 31. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 76 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback who was here. So the score now, 24 14. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Zips it left. Almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Orange three. Orange three. He's at midfield. Here's the tight end, has a first down. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 48-yard line, first down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Red two, Gives it off. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job yes, plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. From the 35 yard line. First down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Makes it to the 27. That makes it second and two. Man left, man left. 
Four down, four down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Red two. Big eight. eight. Six. Six. Heading for the corner. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X7. Big up. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. From the 10 yard line, second down. Throws it in a hurry. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Tenth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Ready? Out of bounds at about the five yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Kicks up, and he got it. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in the third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Missouri up seven points. the catch. Oh, they strip it out. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Red two. And a quick throw. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. Hit. He's going to lose yardage. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. Missouri's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They come out in a five-wide set. And he is drilled at the 34. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. Two. Go. 
And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him from the 48-yard line. Second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is just a great play getting into the backfield. This guy is so quick that the ball carrier never had a chance. him hard at the 36. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Missouri is up by a touchdown. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled the 36-yard line. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. this one off and it's a beauty tackle made at the 44 Arkansas's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation and there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations you know he's gonna make the right read he's gonna give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball and they're gonna have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game After a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Just under two to go in the game. He's taken down at the 35. Number eight on the tackle at the 35-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Mike four. Mike Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From the 35-yard line, second down. Black five, And the halfback's got 
got nowhere to go. And that was the junior corner who will get credit with that tackle. Fellas, it's fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And they got him for a loss. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 34. Under a minute left. Gets to about the 37-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. The Razorbacks call a timeout. That's their second of the half. They're running it. My five, my five, my five. Go four, eight, seven. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. Well, they're going to have to give up the ball. And I know there isn't a whole lot of time left, but you just never know what's going to happen. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Mike 8! Mike 8! Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 17-yard line. Steps up, wants to go long, and does. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And down he goes at the 33 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Blair! That makes it first and ten. Two, three, nine. Go! And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry! Second and ten. Ball on their own 33. Fires it out. Tackle at the 48. Easy, easy. Red two, X seven. Spikes the ball. And this play is number eight on the drive. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. Throws it deep, picked off. And the ball game's over. The Tigers with the win. 24-17. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.